conversation on this Monday with Emily Swecker, the Director of Development and Communications with the Charlottesville Albemarle, Albemarle SBCA. We talk all the time about how uh, fostering dogs helps, not just the animals, but you guys at the facility. And people think about fostering perhaps young pups or young kittens, but the older animals need foster attention too. Yes, they do. One of our biggest needs right now is for our large adult dogs, especially since it's the summer, we've seen a lot of our fosters leave for the next few months. A lot of them are traveling and we are looking for people to welcome adult dogs in their homes. And I have kind of a personal story. I have, yes, right? I have fostered a number of dogs puppies too. I recently took home Ducky, who is um, a couple years old. He's right there. He's so cute. I love this dog. But um, he's a big dog, and of course it was important for me because I have two of my own for him to do well with other dogs. So there he is Aww. with Brody. And it's just a reminder that we do pair the dog to fit your family. So if you have dogs at home, if you have cats at home, if you have kids at home, we take all of those things into account and make the best placement that we can. And this is nice because while you guys do your best to take care of all these animals, rather than at the shelter to be in an uh, actual home with other animals or whatever, it's got to be a much different experience for them. It's so beneficial in so many different ways. So for Ducky, for example, he has some um, allergies that we were trying to figure out and find the best treatment for. So inst instead of him spending you know, a month or longer than that in our clinic or in a kennel, he's been at home, he's been in the bed, on the couch, you know, going for long walks. So it's been great for him, huge transformation for him. We've gotten to learn so much about him in order to place him in the perfect permanent home. And then, as you said, you know, it's better for our staff, for our volunteers. They're able to focus on, you know, a smaller number of animals. Nice. All right, let's talk about a couple of specific of those animals that are up for adoption this week. Yes. So I would love to start with Saya. She is currently my office dog, and I love her too. She's about four years old, and she is just the most mellow dog most affectionate dog you could ever ask for. If you work from home or if you are even looking to take a dog with you to work, she just lays there for 90% of the day, happily snoozing the day away, but then she'll come over and kind of nestle her head into your lap and ask for some pets and kisses. And she is just the absolute sweetest. Um, sausage Muffin is another animal currently available for adoption. He is about nine years old and he is a huge, favorite at the shelter. The volunteers love him. Everyone who comes in to visit loves him. He's usually curled up, also taking a little snooze, but he likes if you come up and give him some head scratches, and he really just wants to wants to find his family. I don't know who the photographer is, but week in and week out, the best pictures of these animals. I'm sure I actually took sausage The fact muffins. that the animals are so cute to begin with doesn't I know, hurt, I know. We have some really, really cute animals. Emily, appreciate it. Thanks as always. Of course. Thank you. Casey?